Hi, we're the Vika Feeling. For the past year, we've been traveling the world in search for the most beautiful locations. It all started when we quit our job and sold our home for a motorhome called Loons. So come join us on our journey as we adventure too. We are back <laughs> and we've just entered into the west of Germany. It's our second European tour um, and we're just about to walk the suspension bridge. We've now got Luna sorted, our motorhome. Uh, Truma done a brilliant job of fitting our new boiler and we're so glad it's over and done with, aren't we? It's yeah. been difficult. And we've just entered, like Mike said, we just entered Germany. It's beautiful already. We've just come from the village that's dedicated basically to wildlife and bees which is really cute but we have lots and lots coming up we do we do so we can't wait to show you all of our adventures yeah stay tuned to our for our germany series see you there we visited germany's longest suspension bridge it was an impressive 360 meters long and 100 meters above the ground. Germany and it's even more beautiful than we expected it to be there's mountains absolutely everywhere and we're on our way to our first hike I can see and she is a massive 1987 it's the highest we've been so far and we're training to do the Zugspitz yes yeah, so we've got the Zugspitz in two weeks time which we're gonna put on a separate video so I hope you stay tuned for that yes and um, but at the moment we're gonna do a like you just said a 25 kilometre round hike going up Agustin Mountain. Yeah, it's going to take us about seven hours. Um, so it's a bit of training because it's, it's going to take us about two days. But um, she looks beautiful from here and we can't wait to get up Agustin. Whisperer here.
go it up. What are we doing today, Mike? Uh, going on one of the mountain coasters. Going on a mountain coaster. We're actually on a ski lift right now, going up to the top. <laughs> What's my birthday surprise? What is it? It's a surprise. What's my birthday surprise? It's a surprise. <laughs> What's my birthday present? It's a surprise. <laughs> What's my birthday present? Surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> Hello, we are currently going up another mountain which we feel as if we would offend the German people if we tried to pronounce it, so it's going to be on the bottom of the screen somewhere. <laughs> it has like 26 <laughs> characters in this name of the mountain and it's, uh, we're going at 1677 meters. So only about a four hour hike which is quite small for us but we want to get another one in before we do our humongous one. Yeah, exactly. But it is. Toasty, like we're both dripping with sweat yeah, already. It's so hot. <laughs> Because it's so steep and if I walk up backwards I can see this beautiful view so I can see the princess castle I can see all the mountains all the lakes it's just amazing absolutely amazing we were just discussing that this is for sure I can't see where I'm going this is for sure our favorite place so far Pheasant is just Pheasant and Garmisch are just on another level so I can't imagine what Austria is going to be like, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm just so happy, but I'm going to fall over in a minute so I'm going to stop. We have made it. That was so steep, wasn't that was it? So, it was a lot, lot harder than we thought it was going to yeah. be, and it is baking. I, 
It is so hot, it's like so hot. my t-shirts just soaked <laughs> for sweat. But the uh, view of Pheasant is amazing. There's so many lakes. We're right on the edge of the the Alps. It's beautiful, and mm. we get to watch all these paragliders go down. Mm. And the best part is, we are the only two people on this mountain. Yeah, that's so cool. It's a bit of a hidden little gem, I think. It is, yeah. I mean, for this whole way up here, all I've been thinking about is this apple. <laughs> it's funny how going up mountains, it's the small things that really do keep you going. Yeah. And this apple's kept me going for a long time. Yeah, so our nice four-hour hike has turned into about six to seven hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was steep. That was super steep. And the, and the weight we carry up is just silly sometimes with yeah. all this camera equipment and... But what was really cool, we've seen some amazing hikes or routes on the way up and I'm pretty sure um, we've seen some great uh, ferretas, via ferretas. So we're going to maybe try um, in the next couple of days to get up them. Mm. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. But time's running out before the Zooks bids. Yeah. One week today we'll be at the top. Exactly. So check it out. Check it out. First stop was the world's largest cuckoo clock, gaining the title since 1997. It stands at 15 foot tall and weighs 6 tons. The fantastic cuckoo also weighs 23 tons. The Elba brothers spent 5 years creating this masterpiece. The brilliant native bird reveals itself every 30 minutes. The second clock we found was in the middle of Triburg. The traditional wooden human statues have been replaced by giant teddy bears. The clever bears can be seen climbing up ropes, waving and having fun swinging around. The third was like walking into an Alice in Wonderland set. There was beautiful flowers surrounding this tiny adorable house. We were given a tour of the inner workings of the clock and how the cuckoo moved. Joseph Dahl had a dream to build the beautiful clock house. It took him three years to handcraft every piece, finishing in 1980. Our fourth visit was to the house of a thousand clocks. The cuckoo was the best handcrafted bird we had come across. The store housed with some of the most beautiful handcrafted designs. The last two clocks we thought were the most impressive. The Herr family have been making clocks here since the 1700s. Adolf Herr, who is the seventh generation, continues to make clocks in his workshop, alongside his son and grandson. The family also boasts they have the world's smallest cuckoo clock. The whole shop was filled with joy and magic. Outside you are able to watch a fantastic display of moving village characters alongside the adorable cuckoo. Mike just bought me this adorable cuckoo clock for my birthday. It's not going to tell me what my other present is yet, but it was an amazing place. So they've been uh, making clocks for eight generations inside the warehouse, and they're such a lovely family. 
Um, we're not going to put it up yet, just in case it gets broken in loons and we get a, an actual house. But Mike still won't tell me what we're doing for our actual my actual birthday. Are you going to tell me, Mike? No. <laughs> What's Mike got me for my birthday? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Why? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Why? I'm not. <laughs> Mike, are you going to tell me what we're doing for my birthday? No. Why not? No, I'm not telling you. Is it scary? No, I'm not telling you. <laughs> Is it a spa? <laughs> no, I'm not telling you. <laughs> Good morning. It's my birthday today. I've turned 33 and it's incredible to be on the road traveling in Germany, which is such a beautiful place. But I don't know what we're doing today. Mike's keeping my birthday surprise. Definitely a surprise. I really wish you would tell me. What are we doing today, Mike? What we're doing today is... is a surprise. We're about to jump off a bridge. <laughs> this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> we found this beautiful spot in the woods next to a castle and we're just waiting for AJ from AJ Road Tripping to turn up so we met him through YouTube didn't we? Mm -hmm. And he's a really cool guy and he lives in Germany. Um, Comes from uh, Michigan I think. I think so yeah we'll, we'll uh, ask him all the questions when he gets here a little bit more. But um, he's really cool, so if you want to follow him on YouTube, just pop his uh, name down here. And um, we're going to go see a castle tomorrow together. Now, it's really cool how many people we've met through YouTube and how many lovely people and mm. it's a nice little community and we finally get to meet some of these people now, mm. don't we? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so we're just going to chill in the woods for tonight and relax. Here is AJ! <laughs> Hi, Hi buddy! Hi, nice yeah, to meet you! I'm all awkward with hugs. Oh, it's fine. Good. I'm good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Yeah. Have you had to travel far? No, um, it's just uh, the tunnel areas. Yeah. Yeah, there was somebody who was not on his way anywhere. Just, uh, to 30 and the 50s. Oh, bless you. Oh, you what? Um, it was roughly 45 minutes. Oh, that's not too bad. bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bless. The camera time is where I work, and it's not that far. It's in this region. Okay. Oh, yeah. nice. nice. It was a pleasure to spend the weekend with AJ. After many hours exchanging stories about living on the road and his migration to Germany, we hiked to a castle and were given a tour of Klaus. So, you gotta. I wasn't filming. <laughs> she wasn't filming any of that. You, you don't know. <laughs> I'll just be really quick. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny because I noticed there was no red light when I. <laughs> maybe you have the one that doesn't have. It. <laughs> yeah. No, because then I pressed it to, to maybe take a picture, and I was like, "Well, now it's filming." So this is AJ's pad. We are filming now. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Um, so, I mean, it is it is pretty compact, um, but I have everything I need. You know, yeah. A place to cook food, a place to store unwashed dishes, my refrigerator slash freezer, which I really love having a freezer. Yes. You know? Yeah. A um, place for my cutlery. 
My junk drawer. Junk drawer. Which, I wouldn't need one of those. It's uh, <laughs> way too much. And then under here is, is a little bit of storage too, but also um, uh, part of the pump. Like, okay. So like I, I keep this down there oh, and yeah. then um, like my little to what you know clean my floors with yep. and a brush that's it um you had asked earlier about the the switch so i've got a 220 plug here oh, which yeah. i need to have be plugged into the grid in order to access yeah and then here's the the i don't know if it's a 12 volt but the cigarette lighter style okay yeah, yeah. um and i haven't used it because i don't have anything to plug in there yeah 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 so and then so the cigarette style works off the leisure battery i don't know because okay. i don't have anything to plug in there to yeah yeah it. Well, we've got um, we've got about seven yeah. uh, cigarette things that go into USB. Yeah, I'd love to just you try one, one if just you want. See. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. we've yeah, we we got, got loads. loads. Um, yeah. And then that's for the bathroom and the toilet. Or the, uh, the toilet. Yeah, I'm right. So yeah, I guess that toilet. what happens when you take a shower and you don't clean it away. <laughs> I won't put <laughs> yeah. I like it though, I like this. Yeah. Um, you know, the for one person my size, I think it's great. Yeah. They, you know, when you're in there taking a shower, the, the shower curtain is a bit clean. Yeah. Um, but it's not bad. And then yeah, it's the bed. That's where I typically store my, my dishes. J AJ's massive bed. <laughs> yes. USB on. Alright, yeah. Oh yeah, there's a light there. Oh nice. So what do you charge what do you charge your phones with? With the engine battery? Um no, I have a uh, portable. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, whenever I'm sitting here, and I've got two, one this size and a smaller one, which is good for one and a half chargers. Hey, uh, the Vega feeling is on AJ's bag. Oh, that is so awesome, too. I like it. Every day will be. Reminded of, of us. <laughs> <laughs> After a great weekend, it was time for us to part ways. It was an incredible experience to meet someone who has given us so much support and encouragement. We look forward to meeting again in the future.
On the border of Germany and Austria is a formidable eagle's nest. It was built in the 1930s and reaches over 1800 meters high in the Bavarian Alps. The historical landmark was once the meeting point for Hitler and his army. The building was given to him as a gift, but he only visited 14 times due to his fear of heights. Today it's a popular restaurant and tourist attraction. Hi, thank you for watching our Germany trip. It has been so much fun and we just want to say a massive thank you for everyone that's liked, commented and subscribed. And if you've enjoyed our journey so far, we would love you as a new subscriber. I think for us, we've had three really good main things about this trip. The climbing, meeting AJ, that was so much fun. Yeah. And learning about his journey. Um, and we would love for you to head over his, to his channel. And also the cuckoo clock was was amazing for us just the craftsmanship that goes into it but yeah. we do have two more videos after this one that are related to germany haven't we, we do yes yeah. so we've got us climbing the highest mountain in germany which is the zugspitz and we've also got uh climbing the alps bits as well which we're going to put on separate movies so we hope you've got time to to check that out at some point yeah and they were just so much fun at the moment we've made it to austria We've been here for a few days, we've been checking out some of the locations and it, it's more beautiful than we thought. Um, and we don't know too much about Austria, so if you have any recommendations, we would love to hear about them. Yeah. But um, the rain's coming now, so we're going to see you later. See you later. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye.